Hey fam. Um, I just wanted to share a few things tonight um, that I found really encouraging. Um, just a bit of gospel encouragement for you. Um, first, I'm going to read Jude 24 and 25. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Um, I want to read this portion of a Spurgeon sermon. Come, Christian, think for a minute how faultless Christ has made you so far as your past sin is concerned. The moment you believed in him, you were so completely washed in his precious blood that not a spot of sin remained upon you. Try to realize that whatever your past life has been, if you now believe in Jesus Christ, you are cleansed from all iniquity by virtue of his atoning sacrifice, and you are covered by a spotless robe of righteousness by virtue of his blessed life of perfect purity in obedience to his Father's will. You are now without fault, as far as your past sin is concerned, for he has cast it all into the depths of the sea, but you feel that you are not without faults as to your nature. Oh, you say, I feel everything that is evil rising at times within me, but all that evil is under sentence of death. Christ nailed it to his cross. Crucifixion is a lingering and very painful death, and the culprit struggles before he breathes his last. But your sin have had your sins have had their death blow. When Christ was nailed to the cross, your sins were nailed there too, and they shall never come down again. Die they must, even as he died. It will be a blessed hour when sin shall at last give up the ghost, when there shall be not even the tendency to sin within our nature. Then shall we be presented faultless before the throne of God. Can that ever be? asks one. Well, may you ask that question, brother. Can it ever be that we shall not be tempted by one foul lust, nor be disturbed by one unbridled passion, nor feel the emotions of envy or of pride again? Yes, it shall surely be. Christ has secured this blessing for you. His name is Jesus, Savior, for he shall save his people from their sins. He must and will do this for all who trust him. Rejoice! that he will do this, for no one but God can do it. It must be the only wise God, our Savior, who can accomplish this, and accomplish it, he will. Does your faith enable you to picture yourself as standing faultless before the throne of God? Well then, give to the Lord the glory which is due unto him for such a wondrous act of grace as that. Oh, <laughs> so good. Um, I have a little song in regards to this. To him who is able to keep you from falling. To him, to him, to him, to him, to him, to him who is able to keep you from falling, to him, to him. standing in his presence with our garments clean and white oh glory honor power majesty to jesus christ we are standing in his presence
presence with our garments clean and white. Oh, glory, honor, power, majesty to Jesus Christ, to Him who is able to keep you from falling. To Him, to Him. Well, I love you guys. Um, good night, and I will talk to you soon.